G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is an Assault LMG. This is a particularly interesting weapon mod because the prevailing thoughts on Fallout 4's weapon design seems to be boiled down into the Assault Rifle is such a big, ugly weapon that I can't stand the sight of. And this is a weapon mod that seeks to remedy to this. Although it is available both in replacer and standalone form, this thing is basically a reformed assault rifle. Change for a more LMG role instead of an assault rifle role. And the reason why it was so big and it says in the um, concept art book is that it's a weapon that's supposed to look good in the hands of power armor. It does that in spades, but a little bit oversized, they say for players outside of power armor so if you make it an lmg then that's okay if it's oversized right so this thing despite being very derivative of the fn mini me or perhaps the m249 depending on whether you're us marine or not it's a assault rifle but with a different coat of paint i suppose very shiny coat of paint so there's a lot of polish in the uh, stock and the uh, handguard of this, it probably might ignite in uh, sunlight, so we'll probably just keep a little bit of a watch on that. But it's definitely a cool looking weapon, and despite this thing having the stick magazine now, this thing is capable of being used as a belt fed weapon as well, complete with custom animations to support that. And there's some sounds as well, the suppressed sounds are that of the vanilla game assault rifle, which is just fine. This thing can use a proprietary ammo system. And I believe that one is just to allocate to use specific rounds for this thing. You can craft the 5.56s that it fires into linked versions for this thing to be fired exclusively of. So it's not going to force you to craft the rounds to actually use it. But if you want to allocate some rounds off to the side um, to get this thing firing its own type of ammo, you can do that. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to the attachment point. But let's get into the attachments. First of all, got the receivers. You can only have this thing in the automatic form because it's like an, a light machine gun so you don't want it semi-auto right you're supposed to suppress enemy positions for it a powerful auto receiver gives us 102 damage very similar to that in fact the same as the vanilla game assault rifle powerful auto receiver which is pretty cool very standard sort of balancing at the moment and you can change the barrel from a standard long barrel or a short barrel which i had earlier this one will increase your stats a little bit but it gets a little bit more interesting when you apply the air cooled barrel which is actually well it's a big dumb barrel like you'd see on the vanilla game assault rifle and side note don't be talking smack about the vanilla game assault rifle it's a beautiful weapon worthy of recognition and i will die on this hill i will hear no assault rifle slander in this web thread so don't say anything, I'll go to your house and kick your ass. But this air cooled barrel gives us um, 215 range, which is the highest. You can also have a water cooled version if you want to put some anchorage snow on that to cool down your barrel as you're hosing down enemy lines of communists. Then that's pretty cool, but it's actually slightly inferior, even inferior to the standard long standard barrel, despite a gun nut rank 4 version of it. Perhaps the recoil is slightly better, but the recoil on uh, assault rifles has already been. Has always been really good anyway, so we'll th throw on the air-cooled version to increase that barrel length and um, increase our range. And you can see the fins there, that's the telltale sign that it's air-cooled because they're radiator fins for the barrel. The, the heat will sort of spread out and dissipate into those fins as you're firing and you can just see them a little bit like the vanilla game assault rifle. So moving on, first, uh, next up we've got the stocks, not first of course, and you can have light stock, you can even have some... Tactical US Marine sort of attachment here. This thing looks like a little bit of an M4 stock So if you really want to double down on the M249 version of this then that is definitely the right pick there It is, appears to have the same sort of stats. In fact, this one has better aims with scope or reflex sight So perhaps I might double back and go for a full stock there because I'm throwing a, a scope onto this And we'll see what they look like in just a second But for this one you can throw in a stick magazine quick eject versions or 100 or 200 round box magazines with quick mac uh, quick eject versions of those obviously we're going to be firing this thing from monday to sunday so we'll throw on the 200 round box magazine there and you can throw on some sites including reflex sites which are pretty cool in cross circle or dot formats short scopes mediums night version night vision versions of those and also some recon scopes if you feel like it as well i believe some of these are using the degenerate dac version 
Although that recon scope appears to be the same as the vanilla game assault rifle, fits very well onto this weapon, might I say. Let's just go for a short scope here, nothing too fancy, but we'll get a little bit of extra range out of this thing, and 215 range is nothing to be sneezed at, so that's a pretty good outcome. And it appears to be a degenerate DAC scope version, uh, sort of derivative of the ACOG, so... We're tipping a little bit into modern firearms here, but that's fine. It's law friendly because it's a replacer. That's all that matters. And you can throw a suppressor on this. A suppressed LMG. Yes, please. Extend that barrel out even further. We'll sacrifice a little bit of range for it. Despite the extra barrel length, but that's okay because Ace Operator kicks in, 128 damage. We're square on with the Assault Rifle Suppressed Powerful Auto. Legendary effect is there if you need it. If we happen to find one with one, that would be pretty great. And you can change the ammo types. Won't actually change what ammo it uses, but it'll just give you a nice little tertiary way of increasing your ammunition, including up to depleted uranium ammo, which doesn't irradiate your enemies, but the extra density of those rounds will probably do that extra damage. So 188 damage for an LMG, 200 rounds with a scope with barely any recoil to speak of. I think we're in pretty good shape. And you can throw a flashlight on in case those scary monsters jump out at you from the dark. You'll see them and you can shoot them before you even need to worry about them. And you can change the furniture to black polymer. Again, just making it more US Marine tactical. And honestly, we've got a scope on this thing, a suppressor. May as well paint it black too. We've got to double down on the stealthiness of this thing. And that is it for the attachments. So this thing, it's craftable... Uh, it's not actually craftable, sorry. This thing, either the replacer version or the standalone version. Um, obviously, a replacer version, anytime where you'll see an assault rifle, it'll be an assault LMG. Replacer version, you've got a 50-50 chance of seeing this when a gunner or something or other spawns with an assault rifle. So they're pretty easy to get, but you can craft those linked ammos on uh, the uh, chemistry workbench, which is here, by the way. So yeah, if you want to delegate extra rounds to this thing to be used in only this thing, you can craft them there. It's free XP, by the way, because you can um, recraft the linked ones into standard ones if you feel like as well. So that's just an infinite XP farm, should you have the patience to do so. But there you go, that's the assault LMG for you. So what I've done here is just added this thing to my inventory using console commands. And um, I keep pulling furious versions. I've just pulled one right now. So um, yeah, we're going to be using furious on this thing. That's fine, the game's given it to me. Console commands are legit. Righto, here we are outside of the Immersive Gunners Plaza in all new resolution. We're running at, what is it, 2600 by 1440 or something like that. I, I might look a little bit different for you, but everything looks way more detailed. That's probably because I've got a bigger screen using the new type now, but, you know, shadow play is a funny thing. I hope the mic's working better as of right now but we're gonna get started by um going we'll just uh, ease ourselves back into it by hosing all of the gunners down from back here i haven't got the leaning mod oh dear oh dear looks like we're gimping ourselves one way or another and now we can hose them down with all oh my god i can see everything everything All right, so hopefully shadow play and the microphone is behaving right now, but here we are back at Immersive Gunners Plaza. Leaning mod is ready to go. We've just uh, done our stretches, and here we have what our assault LMG looks like in first person. Unfortunately for this thing, there is no classic holstered weapons variant for it. I believe it's is it a heavy gun? Is that why it's doing that? Not really sure, but at least in third person, this thing looks pretty good. We've still got the uh, giant uh, handguard there to uh, hold on to something. That might just be because we're using primarily assault rifle animations to start off with, but it's fine. Everything works pretty well. This thing has got a scope, and I can see everything. We're playing at a much higher resolution now, not only 1080, not just 1080 anymore, and... I've got a bigger screen, so I have sight beyond vision. I can see those guys so clearly, like nothing before. And the way this is going to work is, we're going to ease ourselves back into it, and uh, gun them down from this safe spot from here, and we'll just see how we go. We'll see how the aiming goes. If I can strafe right, I'll consider that a victory. We'll just do a tactical lean. I'll tell you what, though. Um, 
you can actually do those tactical leans in VR without installing a mod to be able to do that. And luckily for me, this thing's got such little recoil that I can just point and click and they'll die. It's a point and click adventure game with this thing. The assault rifle LMG sort of role here has been uh, played very well by this thing. And as they get a little bit closer into this weapon's preferred range, can I get a bat shot? It's not what I wanted, but I'll take a shot anyway. Here it comes. The 556s, five big 556s. Five five yeah, that didn't really do much. I wanted to kill that guy. There we go. Okay, we're in danger now, but that's okay. The backup plan. It has that guy got a face? What? He's got her head! Well, that's one way to stop getting headshotted. Hey, we got all those rounds back, thanks to, I believe that is Scrounger, but here's what's gonna happen. When I equip this thing, there's someone over there? Just with the iron sights, because I, like, never do it, so we're gonna use the iron sights. Obviously, it's not going to be as strong. There's another headless horseman without his horse and his head, and... The killer zone music has kicked in. That's got me pumped. I forgot I did that. But this thing is just hosing down everything. The 150 or so damage that you get from this thing, even without the extra bonus from Ace Operator, it's strong. We're going to have to get in a little bit close to see the full brunt of this thing's damage. It's not the highest range thing. And our bat accuracy will suffer at a distance as well. So perhaps a good thing that I've thrown the... Uh, Iron sights that don't really allow me to look at this thing properly. No, I want to use this thing in VR to be honest. See, I got a, I posted it on Twitter the other day, but I got this um proper mount for my controllers so I could actually hold rifles like rifles. And I used to have really unsteady, terrible hands when aiming with Fallout 4 VR. Now it's better. So maybe one of these days I'll boot up Fallout 4 VR. And you can see, <laughs> and you can see just how good my aim is. I feel like a Terminator because, you know, you just point where you want and the bullets will go there. There's no abstract mouse or controller input to hold you back. And I think it's time we bring out the scoped version back. Although, chances are we're going to be going up nice and close to the next amount of gunners as this one tries to stumble around the fire escape. Yep, I used that many bullets to kill one gunner. That's what it's designed to do. I'm okay, and that gunner is not, and that's what we want out of our rifles. Big swing, no ding for little Miss Creation Club there with her Gauss rifle. Perhaps the uh, music's a little bit too loud here because I can't see the enemies around me. I'm using the uh, compass to figure out where things are. Although, usually when I'm playing shooters, I'm deaf anyway because the visual sounds that they give you on Fortnite, it's, it's basically free hacks. It's, you just see everything without even noticing. Ah, here we go. Don't have to worry about the grouping here as we get a cheeky little stagger from the cap explosion that just happened. There we go. And... Looks like we're at the end of the uh, gunners here. Just a few more to mop up before we can uh, move on and nice little slide there mate i'm not particularly worried about our gunner friends at the moment none of them appear to have that strong of weapons because obviously i've had to do a fresh reinstall of basically everything and um i might want to get back some of the weapons that i'm missing and this is a pretty good good breaching weapon if only i had a flashbang that i could just toss in before hosing them all down also remind myself to uh install an easy lock picking mod so i don't have to embarrass myself by novice locks uh struggling with those things all right the assault lmg has done a fantastic job at wiping out everything but i want to give more of a shot of this uh, Furious version. Just ask that guy. He gets plenty of those. And I want to make this thing go hard against the Swan or something. Kill him real fast. So, you know, it's like a handmade rifle, the uh, Splatter Cannon or Problem Solver, but it's got a bigger magazine. So what could possibly be worse? Be better? What could go wrong? And I also think it's really weird that all of my Fallout characters picked up a terrible tendon injury the same time that I did. Eh, probably not. 
it'll, it'll be fine. Anyways, so he's going to be attacking some randos over there. That'll give us a shitload of free shots. 100, 500, 700, 800, 9, 10, and before it could even reach us, totaling 2,600 damage per shot. We've uh, wiped him out before he could kill all of the rust devils that were under him. And I think there's a random ghoul. So he must have cleaned him up. Now, this guy gave me a cryogenic leg. You wonder if uh, the drop is going to be better on this guy. It isn't. No, it's not good. Anyways, uh, so that's what I wanted to find out there. Um, how good... <laughs> The LMG was when furious and you just let her rip and 2600 damage per shot and it going to get better for after that That's some good stuff. So um, we'll move on to the next monster this time more of a stealth commando angle. And as the Sun is setting somewhere somewhere beyond the horizon and the orange light is starting to set in Oh man Fallout 4 is so vibrant with the uh, with this particular AMB mod and some of the uh, sands here, I think I've got the textures replaced from there. Yep, it's past 6 a.m., so that's nice. Anyways, we'll hose this guy down. Maybe we'll get some bat shots in if we need it. It doesn't look like we're going to. Never mind. We are definitely a go for that, so we'll hit him up. Go for a critical there. 387 damage per shot is pretty nice. We'll keep those shots coming in, and if we get a cheeks, cheeky stagger, cheap stagger here and there, that would be pretty good. Whoops. Ooh, that's not where I want to be. Haha, <laughs> trap card. That's Nerd Rage, baby. As sure as Collingwood has won the flag this year, I'll put an end to you, my friend. And if I want to skip the reload, I might not even have to reload this thing, actually. Nope. I did it with about three bullets to spare. Perfect. Alright, I think you get the idea. So this is the Assault LMG. It's a... It's pretty much a perfect weapon. There might be problems with weight and uh, ammo consumption on survival mode, but it's got everything you want, including... You can't see it right now, but there is definitely a bobby... <laughs> a bobbing up and down uh, hand... Uh, carry handle there so that's great but it's got it all it's got a high ammo capacity a high damage per shot a high fire rate very low recoil there's not much that i can say about this that'll disparage it it's a pretty tight weapon package altogether, and it fulfills its role as an lmg of the assault variety like its namesake pretty well perfectly perhaps the worst thing i could say about it is that you can't use it with um, classic holstered weapons, although that might just be a few keyword switches away from being completely fixed. So there you go. Also, look at these water reflections. I cranked that right up. These laptop 4090s, mate. <laughs> oh, they do the job. Look at that. No, I'm serious. Look at it. If I turn those effects off, you'll get to see what it looks like. Hang on just a second. So that's normal. Shit, even that looks good. I suppose there's also reflections there as well. And then also puddle reflections. Like, this, man. Fallout 4, with all of these visual mods, like, you can push the creation, cl uh, creation club, creation engine to do some pretty awesome things, provided you've got the right hardware, of course. This thing would have never lasted. And I don't know if you can see this on the top of the screen, but I'm running at 153 frames, 139 stable-ish right now. So I'm getting the over 60 what I needed. I had to get a mod to uncouple the um, game speed from the frame rate. Otherwise, I'd be running at warp speed onto the beach there. So that's great. So it's I'm so glad to be back and I'm so glad that Fallout 4 runs as good as it does. It's, it's been a worthy investment. And the fact that I can run games like uh, Starfield on this thing without having to put it onto high performance gaming mode. It me makes me feel like this is probably the best laptop I've bought. I mean, I've bought some good ones, obviously performance wise it's the best, but the best investment that I've made because there's been a lot of shortcomings with my previous ones that um, obviously I went for a cheaper option, but this time I decided to go all out top of the line gaming laptop and the 4090 Within, we were talking about this on the Discord before. It's something like the equivalent of a desktop 4070 Ti, which is pretty good for such a small package. 
let me tell you though, I don't have a small package. Ha! And on that note, thank you very much for watching. Download the mod if you're interested. Highly recommend it. If you can't stand the assault rifle, you weak dog, then um, replace it with this cool LMG and uh, things will never be better. Thank you very much for watching.